So next I have taken a few questions on uh, heights and distance. Okay, let us write out. Two towers A and B have lengths 45 meters and 15 meters respectively. The angle of elevation from the bottom of tower B, from the bottom of the B tower to the top of the A tower is 60 degree. If the angle of elevation from the bottom of the A tower to the top of the B tower is theta, then the value of sine theta is dash. So how will you approach this? You have two towers of lengths 45 meters and 15 meters respectively. So let us take 15 meters. So let us take this as tower A and this as tower B. Now there are two towers A and B. Now it is given the angle of elevation from the bottom of the B tower. So angle of elevation to the top of the A tower. So this angle yes, is 60 degree. Similarly, the angle of elevation from bottom of A tower to the top of the B tower, this angle is, this is given as theta and you have to find out the value of theta. You know these two lengths. Now let us just put in some, uh, let us take this as R, P, P, Q, R, O. Okay, I have just given some names to these points. So now let us first consider the triangle ROP. Now if you consider triangle ROP, what can you say? I can say tan 60 is equal to 45 divided by tan 60 is 45 divided by RO or I can say RO is equal to 45 divided by tan 60. What is tan 60? It is root 3. So this length RO now I have got it as 45 divided by root 3. Now, now consider the triangle uh, ROQ. So, if I consider the triangle ROQ, what do I get? I have tan theta is equal to 15 divided by 45 by root 3, correct? 15 divided by 45 by root 3, that is nothing but 15 by 45 is 3. Or again, I have uh, root 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1 by root 3. So, if tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3, 1 by root t, then what is theta? Theta is equal to 30 degree. So, now I know this theta is 30 degree. Now, what is the question? You have to find out the value of sin theta. So, what is sin theta? Sin theta is equal to sin 30 that is equal to 1 by 2. So, the correct answer here is option 4. 1 by 2. Is it clear? Yes. So, correct answer here is option 4. Is it clear? The angle of elevations of the top and the bottom of a flag kept on a flag post from 30 meters distance are 45 meters and 30 meters, for 45 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Height of the flag is dash. What is given here? The angles of elevation of the top and the bottom of a flag kept on a flag post from 30 meters distance are 45 degree and 30 degree respectively. Height of the flag is dash. So you have a flag post and on the top of the flag post there is a flag which is kept and so there is at a distance of 30 meters, okay, at a distance of 30 meters, 30 meters, the angle of elevations are 45 degrees and 30 degrees respectively for the top and the bottom of the flag are 45 degree and 30 degree. So top of the flag angle of elevation is 45 degree and the bottom of the flag the angle of elevation is 30 degree. You have to find out the height of this flag. This height you have to find out. So let us take this as h. Okay. So how do you solve this? So now let us consider this triangle. Let us take this as let us say a B, C, D. Let us give names to these points. A, B, C, D. So, what is tan 30 here? Tan 30. That is, I consider this triangle. If I consider triangle A, C, D, I can say tan 30 is nothing but, see, this is the just a post, okay? So, this has no width and all. Don't get confused. This is just a post, okay? So, if I consider this triangle A, C, D, uh, tan 30 is equal to C, D divided by 
AD. So I know this is equal to CD divided by 30. What is tan 30? It is 1 by root 3 is equal to CD by 30 or I can say CD is equal to 30 divided by root 3. So this length I know now is 30 divided by root 3 and there is a flag here of height H. Now consider the bigger triangle. If you consider the triangle ABD, yes I can say tan 45 is equal to this length. What is this total height? It is nothing but 30 divided by root 3 plus H divided by 30. Yes, opposite side by adjacent side that is tan 45. You know this is equal to 1 or I can say 30 divided by root 3 plus H is equal to 30 or H is equal to 30 divided by root 3 minus 30 or this is equal to 30 into 1 minus 1 by root 3 that is 30 into root 3 minus 1 by root 3 that is here also they have given take root 3 as 1.732 so you will have 30 into 1.732 minus 1 that is 0 0.732 divided by 1.732 so when you solve this you get it approximately as 12.68 meters yes correct answer is option 4 okay yeah, let me draw the flag like Sony says better no so this is the flag that we are referring to